Hey guys, here are some useful last two edges algorithms for 4x4. Four four. So I'll start the video. We have five helpful algorithms for last two edges. Now obviously there are more but the most useful ones are these. So the first case is where these are opposite of each other so they're not adjacent and they're parallel so the colors are like uh, in the same layer and they pretty much just look even let's just say that so that's pretty much how you can recognize it's basically these two are same and these two are same and these two need to swap so how we can do this is by this algorithm So the next case is pretty similar. These two need to, uh, these two are opposite of each other, and instead of these two swapping, these two need to swap. So you can memorize it like the colors are not even, and that's how you can try to memorize it. So this is how the algorithm goes. The next case is where the two pieces that are not solved are adjacent to each other, so like this. And same thing, how you can recognize this is there's like a jack of board kind of pattern, like these two are the same and these two, like the inner two pieces are same and the outer two are same. So this can be recognized like that and the algorithm goes like this. The next case is also pretty similar. Basically, instead of these two colors are being same, these two edges are supposed to go together. So the like they're different, okay? So the previous one was like with a checkerboard pattern, and this one is like a little bit different. So that's why how you can recognize it, because uh, like these two need to be together in these two, like like an L-shaped kind of thing. So this is the algorithm. So the next case so is a little bit difficult, but it's it's not that bad, but it does affect the back there. So how this goes is that these two pieces are unsolved. Now instead of bringing it up and then doing the algorithm I taught you, you can just do the algorithm like this. So basically what it's doing is bringing this down instead of bringing that up. But uh, it's gonna be the same thing, but if you bring this down, you're gonna have to rotate and all that. So this is, there's a shorter algorithm for it. So basically the algorithm goes like this when it's like this and how to recognize is basically that these two pieces need to be together and these two like when you bring this down they should be parallel like I explained earlier. So how you can do it is basically with this algorithm. Just like that. Now I'm not the fastest uh, person to do this algorithm like this algorithm is not fast for me so I might mess up so yeah there we go and there we go I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really had a lot of fun making this video and maybe some of you may have gotten some help with this video so if you did let me know in the comment section below now obviously you don't need to learn all of these algorithms like I Honestly, just knew the Jason ones before, but yeah, uh, after making this video, I personally learned something new, and hopefully you guys did as well. So, hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys all next time.